Assalamu alaikum dear friends I am engineer Saifullah and you are watching Saifullah engineer at site YouTube channel Alhamdulillah I got a role from Niyam as a KVQC engineer How I get this role Today I am going to share all the information about how to get the role from Niyam in this video step by step So don't skip any part of the video to get the full information and watch the video from start till the end Dear friends, if you want to work in the NEOM project as a KVQC engineer, as a safety engineer, as an environmental engineer or any other position, so you need a, an approval from the NEOM. Without the approval, you are unable to work there. So how you will get this approval? So today I am going to share this. It is a very easy process. But if you are a new viewer, so please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like the video and share it with your friends. Now I will not waste your time, so let's start our video. If you want to work in the NEAM project, for that you need to find a contractor or subcontractor who are already working in NEAM or any project. After that you have to submit your CV for the position as per your qualification and experience. Like I submitted for KVQC engineer. So after that, when you receive the response from the contractors or subcontractor, then you have to attend initial interview and technical interview. Initial interview, they will uh, ask questions about your background, experience, and general things. After the initial interview, you have to go for a technical interview with the quality manager or senior KVQC engineers. And they will ask questions about the concrete, earthwork, and many more about the civil engineering. And for all these questions and answers about the civil engineer or KVQC engineer job interviews, I already uploaded more than 10 videos. And you can find the video in the description of the video. I will share the link of the playlist. When you pass the interview with the contractors, technical interview and initial interview, after that, they will submit your CV, experience certificate and degree and diploma to the NEOM for the approval. Now there are different departments in NEOM. First, they will send your CV to the PMC, Project Management Consultants, Consulting Team. They will review your CV. If they find anything that is not as per their requirement and standards, so they will reject. If they find your CV suitable for the position, so they will review and send it to ETSD department of the NIAM. ETSD means Engineering Technical Services Department of the NIAM. After the PMC review, the ETSD department will review your CV and after that they will conduct the interview. The interview may be physically or online interview or sometime you have to be appear in the test, MCQs test. Guys, my interview was online. Why? Because I am here in the Riyadh. Then I request the company and your, the concerned department to conduct the interview online because I am unable to go to the book Niyam just for the interview. Then they agree and they conduct an online interview. What they asked me in that interview, I also uploaded a video on that one and I will share the link in the description. So guys, after the uh, online interview or physical interview, and sometimes they will also, you have to be appear in the MCQs test. One of my friend now he is working in the NEOM project in the same company, he appear in the MCQs test. There is 30 MCQs test, uh, 30 MCQs and that is related to civil engineering. If you have good experience, you can pass it very easily. When you attend the interview, after that, after your interview, they will put some comments on your CV and will send it back to the contractors. Sometimes the comments is about documentation, experience certificates. So you have to comply with that comments like if there is any missing experience certificate or missing documents, so you, the, you have to send your experience and degrees to the contractor and they will resubmit your CV. But during the resubmission, if the comments is about the documentation, so no need to be appear in the interview again. And the first approval will be for 90 days as a probationary period, 3 months. 
If your performance is work is good in this probationary period, so they will extend your approval. If in case you did some mistake and you don't know how to work as a QA QC engineer and your performance is poor at sight, so maybe they can revoke your for uh, approval anytime. So guys, after attending the interview, all the procedure will take around about three weeks. First, like you have to be fair in the contractor interview they, when they submit your CV so to get the call for the interview from the new arm, it will take maximum one week and when you attend the interview and everything is okay so the, the approval will take one or two days so when you get the approval so then you will be able to go to the company join the company and start working at site in the new arm. this is very easy but if you have a good experience and knowledge about the KVKOC engineering or is safety engineering, environmental engineering, whatever you are. And after approval, you have to show your performance good at sight because they have the authority to revoke your approval. Mostly it's not it will not happen, but you have to be good at sight, your performance will be good. You have to be professional at your work. So guys, if you have any question about this approval, this uh, a video any question or any confusion so you can ask me in the comment section I will try to answer your question in the comment section if not possible then you have to contact me through my social networks like Instagram Facebook the links are available in the about section and description of the video thank you so much for watching the video if you are a new viewer so please subscribe to our YouTube channel like